Hey guys, Baby Smooth here. Today I'm gonna talk about the new dungeon, the Sulfurous Wetlands. And boy, am I wet just thinking about it. Hey, don't go in, don't go in. There's a dragonfly. A dragon. It's a dragon. Yo, is anybody gonna die in this in this dungeon, by the way? Sulfurous Wetlands. I've never done this. Uh, I probably shouldn't just run. There's a very green hue to this. So green that it changes your shots. Tell me I'm wrong, but it actually changes your shots. Is this the new orange? I like it better. The moon shit dungeon. You love this dungeon, you think it's very cool? I, uh, I like it so far. Water deals damage, T is active. Oh, he's so angry. Uh, I should probably not eat all the dim. What is, what is on? Where are these arrows? Huh? Is that, is the game literally telling you where to go? Why would they do that? <laughs> Ow! What? The fuck? Nah. Nah. Uh, I don't feel safe, bro. All right, the boss is active. Sexually. He doesn't have very much health. I wonder if there's two phases. I'm not going to use my ability because it means I don't know what's happening. So. That is interesting so far. Not really, but there's a fungal. I'm going to stay off the fungal. Oh, no. It's... Nah, dude. This is the fucking... Oh, my God. There's been three dungeon releases. Or at least three fight releases since Darza's. All of them have literally copied Darza's design of moving in a circle. Fuck this game. Stop. All right, this is fine, though. This is fine. That circle shit? Stop making circle shit. Darza's died for a reason. Don't make every new dungeon Darza's dungeon. I think there is there a Darza's phase in the Steamworks? I hope not. But that was, that was blatantly disgusting circle baiting. What an interesting fight. Alright, I guess I'll go with the guys to clear. I'm so scared I'm gonna lose this character here to something silly. Do I walk- do I dare walk over a mushroom? Do I dare? I don't think they do anything. That's good. This is such a weird dungeon right now. Nobody knows where to go, right? I guess nobody knows how to do this one. I'll, uh, go hit stuff. I really like the hue. The Swamp Thing touched me. Oh, no. You're anchoring because you have PTSD. <laughs> okay. Yeehaw. We're at the boss. We did it. By the way, guys, I'm giving away all these armors. If you want to... Jug is the only right answer. No, 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 no. Honestly, Jug. Yeah, for Shatters. For sure. I feel like you can't die with a Jug in Shatters, can you? Could not possibly. You can't. Yeah. Uh oh. I do like that they made it usable again. Right? That jug is useful. I just don't like that it's only useful in one spot. The shadows. I do want harder content in the game. I also want completable content, though. In my... In my opinion, this is a good dungeon. Like, phases like this... They're visually striking. They look good. You just have to figure out what normal enemies in this dungeon are gonna bullshit the fuck out of you. But things with an identifiable pattern. Why did I say it like that? Um, and things that you can figure out. Usually that's gonna be good game design. I like that the bombs, they give you good warning. Fair warning. This is cool. This is a cool fight. They've never done better with fucking bombs in their life. You see these red things, they're there for a minute. You have time to react, that's good. In a permadeath game, you need that. Good job, Decca, unironically. Bad job, Decca, for making rare skin mystery tokens. King has one phase that could get changed. He has two that could be changed. I, I don't know, his whole pattern of fucking running away from you all the time is kind of fucking annoying. I... I don't think fights should be based off that. What did that do, 81? Oh. 
wondering why I took 160 from each of these last time. Oh, it's a different fight because we activated the T a different way, I believe. I think that's the secret here. Look at all these pots, dude. What the fuck? Dank. Okay, so that is... You got a double white? Let's see it. <clears throat> there are two different ways to do T, gotcha. So I'm wondering if these are good, if these are cool. Shots boomerang, that's always fun. Luck gamers. E a noob. Whoa! Oh, look at your set. You want staff a lot? This place doesn't drop a staff, does it? I gotta look at the chart again. It does? Sharing yesterday, I was deep a good 80%. Well, you're built different than most people, don't forget that. How much is that? 80? Not bad. I tanked the shot on purpose, by the way, before anybody calls me bad. I, I really did tank that one. I'm still mad at that fucking tree coming out of nowhere and just standing inside me. They need to stop making enemies that their only goal is to stand inside you and one-shot you. That would make me very happy. Um, what server he in? Alright, that wasn't that bad. Literally a rogue? Yeah, but I'm a PPE. Um, put some hair on your chest? Don't worry. Wiki says arena was 51 gold or 250 fame. Oh. Yeah, imagine an arena costed fame to enter. Imagine the game having a fame dump that was uh, worthwhile. That'd be sick. Make it cost like 20,000. In today's fame economy. That'd be based. Uh, okay. One of the things I've been saying for a very long time is the game just needs a like somewhere to put your fame. There, ooh, there's never been a viable place to put your fame once you have a pet. Don't even talk to me about those loot boxes, babe. Those were terrible. Those were actually horrendous. Stop it. I know you're thinking about telling me about these things that I know about that were really bad. Let's skip that part of the conversation. Old tops for fame in Bazaar. Nobody's gonna do that. Like, ever. Also, I feel like the more we do this fight, the less we'll like it. Good God. I think it was coming straight at me. I've never seen these phases before. Ouch. What's the answer here. Oh, to do this, I believe. Imagine lagging here. <laughs> hey, guys, Baby Smooth here. Today, we'll be doing the new dungeon. The Sulfurous Wetlands. And boy, am I wet just thinking about it. So in the wetlands, there's some slimy fucks that really want to get you. And, uh, just sit far away and they don't, nobody, nobody hits you. Oh, a treasure chest though. Hey, what's in that? What's in the box? What's in the, okay. Get the cool potion. Ah! This dungeon sucks. What the fuck was that? Where did it come from? That tree doesn't show in the map? Is it this? Who the f- Oh my god. I... So the... This fucking dude. So there's fucking three of these motherfuckers. There's three of these motherfuckers, and he's just chilling until the chest is dead. What a great thing to have in a permadeath game. He he only activates when I get like close. Well, I had no idea that that's a thing. What a good mechanic. Nah. <laughs> Deca Games did it. They really did it. They made the perfect enemy in the perfect game.